Hello guys and welcome to EMG Source. So today we're going to show you how to get um, Kodi installed on your iPhone, iPad or if you have you know uh, Apple TV 4. It's all the same process so um, we're going to go through it together and I'm going to show you all the links here and everything you need alright. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, go to this link right here all right and you want to sign up for you want to enroll to be a developer now you don't have to this is $99 a year but uh, you don't have to sign up for that uh, you could get a free developer okay just uh, click on start enrollment and it'll take you to this page and then from here you could create your Apple ID or sign in with your current Apple ID and just follow the steps and that's it it's, uh, it's free you know um, uh, you don't need the $99 one that's if you want to actually do more advanced stuff but for what we're gonna do you just need the free one all right so that's the first thing you want to do so click on that link uh, become an Apple developer free Apple developer okay and create your ID and that's it so this is usually your you know whatever you use to log into your to your iPhone you know like your to your app store whatever your your whatever your email is for that all right uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to you want to go to this site right here and get Xcode all right you can copy that we're gonna go over here paste it all right and then once you go there you're gonna download Xcode and if you don't already have it, you know, with your Mac or whatnot, you know, just download it. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. All right. So that's one thing you need. The next thing you need is this right here. You can just copy that. Enter right there. All right. And download uh, the app signer here. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna download these two things and you'll have your app signer and you'll have uh, Xcode all right so that's about it for programs now if you're doing the Apple uh, like an iPhone or iPad you need this link right here this is for for uh, iPhone or iPad all right, so it says iOS. Okay, if you're doing this for the Apple uh, TV 4, then you need the TV OS. So today we're doing just the iPhone. All right, so you click copy the link and go here, paste it, and there it is. So you're gonna download the version of uh, Kodi that you want. This is basically Kodi for, for iOS. So. Uh, the current version is that you click on that download it and here it is you know it's in your downloads put everything in your desktop uh, you know so it's easier for you to to follow so once you do that you're pretty much done with with uh, your browser you don't need that anymore all right so uh, let's get started now the first thing you need to do is open up Xcode all right, that'll take a second and you'll see it come up here still opening up all right there it is all right so once this opens up you're gonna create a new project right so depending on what you're doing if it's um, again TV or us or you know um, iOS so if you're doing iPhone or iPad you can go to iOS if you're doing Apple TV you're gonna go to TV OS okay so iPhone here you're gonna click on single view application uh, TV OS same thing single view application all right so iOS single view application okay you're gonna click next and you're gonna enter pretty much your, your product name which is uh, you know you could give it any name you want something for you to follow this is going to create a folder here for you to uh, 
get to it later. But so let's name it because we're doing Cody. We're gonna do Cody. Um, uh, let's just say Cody for me. Okay. Uh, and then your organization name. Uh, you can name it again. This is anything you want. I usually put uh, whatever your you know your email or you know let's put here EMG. Um, uh, let's put let's leave it where it was. Okay, that's my company name. Uh, so we'll undo that. Again, nothing special there. Let me get rid of that. Somebody, mom is texting me. I don't know why. All right. So, uh, let's see. Organization. Now, the organization here, uh, pretty much uh, kind of used for, it tells you what to do here. Like, you know, just, it's always going to be com dot, um, and do the name that you put there for your product name. So put Cody for me. And then this, you're going to live on, on Swift. Okay, and if this is checked on, you just uncheck it and uh, universal. Okay, you click on next. All right, so the next thing, what, what else are we going to do here? All right, so once you're done with that, it's going to ask you to save it to your desktop and you just create it. All right, if it says here, if you have this checked on, make sure you take it off and just click on create. Now that's going to create that folder like with that name that we gave it, Cody for me, just right here, okay? So that's Cody for me. Now, the next thing is, um, is going to open this up, and you see you have an error here. You have to make sure you're on your uh, your right product, so you're uh, here on a iPhone 6, right? Here, actually, it recognizes it here, all right? So you click on that, your iPhone, and then you have to pick your team uh, name. So this is going to be your uh, that Apple ID that you created or the Apple ID that you already have. All right, so your developer account basically. Okay, so you're going to select it here and just uh, select it, whichever one it is. And you're going to click on Fix Issue. Um, since I have two, it's going to ask me again which one. So I'm going to pick the same one right and then it's gonna fix the issue so the issue went away all right so the, it's done that's it you don't do anything else here okay so we're gonna close that the next thing we're gonna do is now uh, open up app, uh, the iOS app signer and from here we're gonna give this uh, a file name right so input your file uh, I'm sorry you're gonna click on uh, the file that um, we need so in this case it's gonna be the file that we need is this one the the, the Kodi for for iOS okay see so the, the one you downloaded from this site right here whether it's this one or this one you're just gonna select it find it on your desktop and where's it here it is all right so you're gonna click on the, the dev here you know open it all right so here it says uh, uh, the signing certificate uh, is got to be your your email the the one that you're you know the that you did for your developer okay and provision signing you're leaving it here you're picking the folder that you created see that Cody for me so you have to find whichever one you made so I've made a couple here just to try it out and here's Cody Okay, Cody, Cody for me. Uh, where is it? No, that's not it. Uh, there it is. Cody for me. Here it is. All right. So you pick it. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is um, this stays alone. You can't do anything here. And app display name. So this is the how you want it to show up here once you load it up. So if you want to name this, um, let's name it because it's, it's for me, right? So it's not Cody. We're going to name it. Uh, EMG, let's make it capitals, EMG, 
media center okay so EMG MC okay so we're gonna start and you're gonna save it right to the desktop just right how it is just save it. all right so this is gonna take a couple of um, not gonna take too long but you know a little bit is gonna unpack everything basically from here uh, sign it you know have it all going and then create your IPA uh, which is uh, basically equivalent to an APK uh, that would be to Android uh, uh, IPA is the same thing for for the iPhone so it's creating that app for you and then you're gonna be able to put it right in here all right so while, while it's doing that okay so again it will just say done here it's not gonna say nothing else uh, while it's doing that you're gonna open up Xcode one more time okay so have it ready here all right so still packing the IPA done okay so it says done and you're done here it is guys here's, here's your app this is your your app okay uh, now you need to put this inside the phone here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Xcode again just click on Xcode right you'll get this you're not gonna click on any of these you're just gonna go uh, right to window and you're gonna go to devices okay window devices and from devices you want to pick your device so if if it's a uh, the Apple TV you pick the Apple TV if it's you know your iPhone you pick your iPhone whatever it is you just it'll, it'll show up there or recognize it and here's a little section where it says no apps install right so you're just gonna grab this guy right here and drop it right in All right you could essentially do this with any other um, you know if you could find those uh, jailbroken apps that you know kind of like uh, that might work that you were able to get if, if there's a uh, you know something like this out there for it you, you pretty much do the same thing but we're concentrating on Cody here I'm showing you how to do that very very simple I know it's a quite a few steps but uh, once you do it the first time you, you'll, you'll be a pro at it I mean it's uh, it'll just stay there with you uh, I'm going very slow here so you could follow along and see you know if you need to pause the video go ahead and do so and you know but you know, you'll be able to just follow and do it exactly the same thing one thing that I, I kept running into trouble you know uh, uh, fixing that little error you know that you get at the beginning where it says fix I wasn't choosing my right uh, uh, Apple ID that it has to match your, your device has to be registered with the same Apple ID so um, whatever Apple ID you put there that you created here your, your iPhone has to be created because you know you basically giving it permission hey you know I'm a developer for this phone I'm creating an app for this phone and you know it allows you to to do that if they don't match if you have a different one here than than the one you created here then it's just gonna give you an error and say no it didn't work so here you go you know it says installed no problems and let's open up the phone here all right and there it is all right you can see there let's move it all the way over here okay EMG MC all right ready there for you okay so you're gonna click on that and you see that this is the next step okay it says untrusted developer we can open it up because you know it doesn't doesn't recognize I'm not a real developer so it doesn't allow me to install it so you're gonna go to settings okay you're gonna go down to general where is it general and you're gonna go all the way down to not here sorry uh, where is it profile All right, you click on uh, your, you know, your developers, prestige installs, it, it's mine. Uh, um, you're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna click, see that the EMG right here, not verified, you're gonna click on it. Uh, sorry, you're gonna click on trust, okay? Uh, and you're gonna trust it, and verify the app. Verified, that's it, and done. Back out. All right, so we're gonna click on it now, and there it is. It's launching Cody on our phone. Okay, so 
that's pretty much it guys I mean uh, now you have Cody going uh, uh, the next video I'm gonna show you how to um, get Cody going here uh, with you know all third-party apps everything running so that you're uh, able to enjoy it on your phone on the road uh, I'll tell you which skin to use uh, you know and how it's gonna work better but uh, uh, there it is I mean uh, working no problem right so if you have any questions just let me know uh, again if you need to post the video at any point uh, just go ahead and do so and I follow all the steps again this is everything you need I'm gonna put all this on the description below so you could follow everything step by step uh, it's very simple uh, like I said the app signer uh, you just have to verify and, and let it verify it and you know it, it, for some of you it might take a second and for some of you it might take a minute and some might take um, you know a couple of minutes but uh, you just gotta let it you know verify it. and once it's done that then you should be able to click it and launch it and get Cody going all right uh, it's the same scenario for the Apple TV 4 the only difference is that because uh, the iPhone uses the the USB that it comes with it connects right to your phone and it transfers all the information for the Apple TV 4 you need a USB-C in order to um, to get that going so I mean you could just open up uh, Amazon and search for USB USB C and it'll find it there real cheap seven bucks so all you need uh, you know it'll come right away if you have prime it'll take no time whatsoever and uh, you know that's what you use to connect your your Apple TV 4 to your computer and then transfer the file the same exact way just drag and drop and have it going all right uh, that's pretty much it guys um, enjoy it and if you have any questions again just let me know uh, in the comments below uh, if you like these kind of videos just let me know and I'll, I'll do a little bit more tutorials on how to do more things and, and you know what else you can use for for your iPhone and so on all right uh, thank you enjoy it